The first half of the 20th century experienced a special relationship between New Zealanders and the Japanese people. In 1902, an Anglo-Japanese alliance was formed. New Zealanders were doubtful because this alliance implied that the British Royal Navy was no longer capable of holding its strong presence in the Pacific. This doubt was further amplified by the racial stigma of the Yellow Peril, where New Zealand, being part of the Western world, saw the Asian people as the threat to their dominant European culture. After Japan's victory over the Russians in 1905 and the takeover of Korea in 1910, it was evident that Japan was a force to be reckoned with. When the First World War broke out, New Zealand and Japan were on the same side with the Allied powers. In 1914, this Japanese warship escorted a convoy of New Zealand ships across the Tasman Sea. New Zealanders were more than happy with the support of the Japanese fleet. With Japan's growing Imperial Navy and one of its ships visit to New Zealand in 1916, the New Zealanders perceived the Japanese as the Brown Britons. In 1928-29, New Zealand signed multiple treaties with Japan. This was New Zealand's first bilateral trade agreement to a nation that is outside the British Empire. This friendly alliance suddenly went to a downfall when Japan invaded China in 1937. New Zealand and the former Soviet Union were the only countries in the League of Nations to be vocal in opposition to the Japanese expansionism. The Japanese attacked the United States and further expanded its conquest to Southeast Asia. In February of 1942, Japanese forces sank British Royal Navy ships in Singapore. With the successful invasion of the British military stronghold of the East, New Zealanders feared that it won't be too long, they'll be under Japanese rule. New Zealanders perceived Japan as their main enemy. In 1943, the 3rd New Zealand Division was sent to the Solomon Islands to fight the occupying Japanese forces. Some units even fought some other parts of the South Pacific against the Japanese until the war ended in 1945. By then, Japan was in ruins. In 1946-49, 12,000 New Zealanders served the British Commonwealth Occupation Forces. They were stationed in these regions in Japan. New Zealanders after the war held a strong negative view against the Japanese. However, those served under the J-Force had developed a more positive view to them because they were more exposed to the Japanese culture, thus creating a greater appreciation for the Japanese people. Some of these New Zealand men would eventually marry a Japanese woman and bring them back to New Zealand to live a new life. From ambivalent to ally, ally to enemy, and enemy to marriage, New Zealanders' relationship with the Japanese people in the first half of the 20th century is truly unique.